Hello, welcome back to the Arnold m uh, Displacement series where we can... I'll show you how to add a displacement map and um, get that set up for creating a mesh. So, um, we've got this plane and we're ready to rock and roll with the displacement map. So, we need to go and make sure Arnold is selected. And it is, as far as the renderer goes. If it's not, you got to go into preferences and, or excuse me, you got to go to Windows and settings preferences to plugin manager and make sure that is um, uploaded. Okay. Um, next thing we're going to do is we are going to open up the Hypershade and um, let's go ahead and uh, click on this uh, input and output connections button. Make sure the object selected, the uh, node is highlighted, and then we can go ahead and, and map that node. Uh, what we're going to look at is um, this node right here. And as you can see, we've got a rock texture right here, and um, and you can see all the inputs that we have in here. Um, we have a displacement shader, so let's go ahead and click on that. And so let's get started on that. Click uh, right next to the displacement material. Click on the option box for that. And let's go ahead and select a displacement. Now, I already know that the displacement needs to be very, very small. Um, so I'm going to go 0.25 on that to start with. And click on the arrow. And we are going to uh, click on off as far as filter type. And we want to make sure that alpha is luminance is on and the color space is sRGB. And we click on the, um, we got to find the displacement, whatever that may be. Um, and I've got quite a few in here. I may not use the one that I downloaded from uh, Substance Share. So I'm just going to do uh, this one right here and click on Open. Oh, excuse me, that's not what I wanted. Um, height. So we're doing a displacement map and so we need to use the height. So go ahead and click Open. Alright, so the reason why I connected the, the height first is for us to see what it looks like um, without any color on it. So uh, what I am going to do though, because white is very difficult to see, um, clearly I'm going to add a, kind of a brownish color to it. Um, just kind of uh, make it a little easier to see. And we also need to have a light in the scene. And so we're going to click on the Create Dome Sky. Okay. And we're also going to make some changes here. We're going to use uh, intensity at 0.5. And we need the exposure to be at 0.5 as well. And we want uh, to use color temperature and type in 5500. This will give us a, a nice warm color. And everything in here is set up fine. Um, now we need to go to create lights, directional light. And let's move that up and rotate down, down just a little bit so we can get some nice shadows. And uh, with this light we're going to uh, keep the intensity at 1 and then go down to Arnold and click on use color temperature. We're going to go ahead and uh, match the dome light at 5500 temperature and we are going to turn that up to 2. Um, the rest of this stuff is fine. Um, one last thing I will do is I want to make sure that I select the dome, just kind of marquee selecting the dome. And we do want to scroll down and we want to turn the camera visibility to 0. So the background will be, instead of white, will be black. Okay, fantastic. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, now that we have light in our scene, we're going to go ahead and go to Arnold and go to the Arnold renderer and click on the green, or excuse me, the red arrow. And that will help 
uh, get the process started for displacement maps. As you can see, the displacement map is uh, really high, uh, extreme, and very jaggedy. Okay, there's a couple reasons for that because uh, first of all, our resolution is super low. If we look at what we have right here, you can see that it is super low, and the subdivision are not very high. The reason for that is is because I really don't need a lot of subdivisions in here, but um, we do need to fine tune it so we can see it in here. So if I go and um, stop this, because this will slow everything down, uh, what I'm going to do, let's go in here and move that a little bit over so we can see what's going on in both areas. And I'm going to select this and and under the shape one node I'm going to click uh, open up Arnold and I'm also going to go in here and just kind of scroll down go to subdivision and in here we want to we want to go next to the type we need to go into cat Clark and then um, type in something like four iterations now this will subdivide it uh, in, in just kind of like you would if you smooth something in Maya it's going to be very high resolution so we're going to subdivide it to it in f it to four um, and let's see how it looks so um, I'm going to go ahead and start another render by clicking on the red arrow and there we go so now you can see that it's really smoothed out and it still looks extremely uh, strong as far as the height map goes so once that gets uh, done, we're going to go ahead and stop that. And right now, um, we're going to make some changes here now. Because I can't have too many windows open here, I'm going to go ahead and, and minimize this for right now. Um, I'm going to go back to my sh surface shader and um, just kind of scale that in just a little bit so I can see what I'm doing and um, kind of move this around so I can see my displacement. So these are the two areas that I can use to make it kind of smaller. So this is where I put in the uh, map and this is where I can actually change the scale. Okay. So with the scale I'm going to do um, something like point, uh, 0.15. Okay. Let's get back the render and let's see what we got. And you can see it's still really, really uh, strong. So um, some some height maps are very strong. So go ahead and and we'll just change that to something like 0 0.05, okay? And give that a shot. There we go. That's looking better, okay? So um, we've got our height map, we've got some issues as far as the uh, glossiness and all that stuff and it's still a little bit um, a little bit strong so uh, we see some shadows and stuff. So what we're going to do now is we are going to uh, come back, we're going to do little bits and pieces. Now you can see that you got that. Um, let's go ahead and stop the video and then we'll start up again on another video. Um, number video three where we'll go ahead and tweak out the texture.